So one of the first things you can do is say to yourself, I've been in this cocoon where I've protected myself, this little comfort zone. I've managed this emotional strain all on my own. And being stuck here is preventing me from healing. Now, when you are in that isolation mode, you are creating unknowingly barriers that prevent your energy from moving forward. But when we start moving out of that comfort zone, it is in our human nature to be part of communities. So something else I want to bring to your attention is while you're in that room, stuck with all the things you are busy with, it looks like a mountain of work, a mountain of problems, a mountain of things you need to deal with. Moving out of that space and into nature acts like a natural healer. So, the challenge in discovering this whole mindfulness thing for yourself is knowing yourself, knowing what desires you have and what direction your life is going to take in. That would be <laughs> the easiest way for you to be in the flow of what life has to offer. Now our values and morals must also align with the things we want. So. The only way we can do that is if we start writing things down. Because while everything is in here in your mind, they sort of scatter away and fall away. And there's no direction. But when you start writing them down, you are busy coming up with some kind of action plan. And small little steps will help you get there even if it is one or two keywords you write down today. Short little brief steps will do the same thing. It will also clear out some of that foggy thoughts in your mind and give you a new perspective on what to look forward to. Not only is the sunshine and vitamin D really good for you it also helps you to become a little more unstuck and i've noticed that if i spend a little more time outside especially early in the mornings that it also improves my mood and overall well-being so being outside also helps you to oxygenate your body and it helps your brain to concentrate and of course gain more clarity. Nature is really the simplest way to remind us that we do have inner resilience. When you go outside and notice the plants, part of it is dying, part of it is renewing and part of it is just enjoying being there. In other words, it has a past, it has a future, and it has the present moment. And that is something we need to learn to tap into. is the here and now, the present moment. And forget about what is outside our reach, outside of our abilities to change. We are not going to go anywhere if we stay stuck and it's best done if you are part of the whole picture instead of hiding away we need to move our bodies we need to move our minds we need to move our thoughts so that that can become something while you're mauling on the same ideas the same problems nothing can move forward now please do go for a general walk every single day it helps your body stretch out it helps your entire circulatory system work better and it also evaporates stagnant energy And you might have noticed that I've added some more of the free videos on YouTube that you can watch at any time. 
And I've left a link below for the open studio sessions that you get to indulge in all of the free stuff and you get to watch them on that portal without YouTube ads. So I just want to show you a little something. We are busy with the essential oils and aromatherapy and all the things they can do. And one of our blends that we made this month is the Romantic Destinations blend. And you can follow along on that video and see what we did and how we created that with only three essential oils. And I want to remind you that the Floral October playlist, oops, the Floral October playlist is ongoing and you can follow along with any of these videos and see how I came up with all the additional coloring ideas behind the original images. So these mindful practices are just a way for you to tap into the present moment, reconnect with yourself and see that you can shine your inner light. Every one of those flowers have an energetic footprint. It has an energetic message for you, a guide along the way. And if you are into listening to the chirping of the birds, why not sit outside and enjoy that? Or go and connect with yourself for a couple of minutes and then step out of hermit mode or isolation mode and go into the world where you are part of it all. Nothing is hidden from you. Nothing is taken away from you. Nothing is being kept from you. You are actually keeping yourself from reaching out to those scenes, scenarios, places, people and opportunities where you can shine your light. You are as important as every single other person that you've come in contact with. And I think the difference is that you might not believe that just yet. So we can start those practices with gratitude, of course. And with a certain level of experimentation, we get to change the way things look and also bring about new possibilities. Now, there is always that thing where we get overwhelmed and before we get overwhelmed and before every week ends, I want us to take a look at what we've created for the week and then do some self-reflection. This self-reflection process will help you see where to go next, what to take out and what to bring back in because we need to eliminate some of those bad habits that are keeping us from doing the things we need to do. That is our romanticized life and the way we run our mindful practices. It's not difficult and you also don't have to be an artist or a designer or a photographer or anything fancy. You can literally pull out a pen and start following those self-mastery prompts to begin changing your life towards joy. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun and enjoy life.